Now this is a quick video uh, for AIS decoding the advanced uh, information system uh, signaling uh, system that uh, happens on boats and ships uh, for avoidance and navigation and all sorts of uh, stuff. It uh, is primarily on uh, 1619.75 uh, megahertz. It's uh, an FM uh, signal, however it doesn't have any uh, pre-emphasis and qu consequently doesn't need any de-emphasis. And the, the problem is with most amateur radio uh, transceivers on FM is that they will always de-emphasize and consequently cut out a whole pile of uh, high frequency uh, information that's in, in the transmitted signal. So uh, we need some way to, uh, to stop that uh, de-emphasis uh, from happening. Uh, some of the ICOM receivers, like uh, I forget the model number, is it the R8600 or 8700, um, has an option where you can turn that off in the menus. However, on things like uh, radios like the IC705 and the IC7100, uh, uh, there is no way to turn off the, the de-emphasis uh, after the uh, after the demodulation. So. Uh, we're kind of stuck really, but uh, we can get around that on the 705 by if we go into the menu and we go into set and you're on menu page uh, one of three and you scroll down to connectors and then you're on one of three again USB AF output. Now I'm assuming that you've connected your radio up to your computer via a USB cable and the sound card devices have appeared on your PC uh, no problem so I'm not going to get into the setup of that but what I am going to show you is if you go into the USB uh, IF section there you can choose how to uh, what to send whether or not to send AF which is the standard or IF uh, over the USB uh, so what I do, I pick IF and then I make sure my output levels are around 50% uh, percent and then back out of it. Uh, so that's all you have to do really on the on the radio side. FM uh, filter widths don't matter because you're putting um, IF straight out. Uh, so I'll flip over to the uh, PC now. Uh, the next stage is to um, obtain SDR Sharp. Uh, which is a free free uh, piece of software um, and it's quite uh, quite feature rich the first thing you have to do uh, click on the menu uh, source so we want a, a source which is the uh, audio device uh, from the radio so we pick a uh, bass bound from sound card we then uh, go on audio uh, pick a sample rate 48,000 uh, hertz, 48 kilohertz sample rate. Uh, the input is the um, 705 uh, audio. So we will pick that. So that's the input. So that's basically the audio that's coming out of the 705 into the computer. And we were outputting into a virtual audio cable. Uh, I won't go into explaining how to set up those or where to get them from. That's uh, that's for the viewer uh, to do. So I'm taking the aud the IF from the radio as an input and outputting the demodulated uh, audio through uh, line one. You need to have this filter audio turned off. So make sure that is unchecked. And the other thing to uh, uh, to look at is the radio side of it. So you uh, click on this drop down radio, NFM, uh, bandwidth 12.5 uh, kilohertz. And well, I've left it on Blackman and a thousand, but I'm not sure that filter applies if that's uh, unticked. So that's the setup that I use. Uh, if we run this, you will see now that we have IF, uh, all the uh, the data appearing as, as you'd expect, just looks like the waterfall uh, on, the, on the 705, although it'd be reversed on that side compared to that side. I'm gonna, just going to use the right-hand side. 
Uh, so I turn the snap off, it's normally on, so turn that off. And mouse wheel, or click on the, the upside of that, and 12, uh, just set that to 12. Uh, so that's dead center, give or take. Um, so that's the setup of uh, this part of it. Uh, so we're taking the audio, the IF signal in from the radio, uh, processing it in SDR sharp and putting it out through line one. The next program uh, that we need to use is called AIS Mon. That is another free uh, piece of software. And uh, you just start it up. You can get 2.2, I think, from a maritime website. We'll have a look at websites in a minute. And 2.3 uh, from the AIS Mon group, um, which we'll also take a look at. Uh, so the audio device that we're outputting from SDR uh, Sharp is line one. So we need to listen to line one in this software. And what we're also doing is outputting the UDP uh, via UDP, the decoded uh, AIS packets. Um, and we're doing it to the local host, which is 127.0.0.1 and then colon port uh, 2947 or, or some such um, and then we can just uh, make sure that's on 48k and we can just start monitoring and you'll notice that I'm starting to get valid uh, packets here what I tend to do um, which seems to have had the best results in terms of uh, packet decodes is to use the slider in um, SDR sharp to set the volume. If I drag this to the left, you'll see that that blue bit there uh, drops way down. I, I kind of put it halfway up, um, and it seems to be the best uh, the best decode uh, percentage. Uh, so the final stage is obviously to uh, be able to view these on a map, and the piece of software that I use is called OpenCPN which is also free. Let me minimize, uh, well, let's just take up the whole area for now. Um, which is this piece of software and there are tons of online manuals on how to get charts and all that sort of stuff. So that's, uh, that's for the viewer to uh, learn how to do. But if you click on the uh, gear icon there, brings up this uh, options window. If you then go to connections, I'm gonna remove this connection. Uh, which won't be there as standard uh, install. So go to connections, add connection, network, and then if you remember off that um, uh, AIS mon, we were using 127.0.0.1 uh, colon 2947. Well, there's the 2947 already bit put in there. So let's uh, 127.0.0.1 uh, make sure it's on UDP and hit apply and it should appear there uh, just like that and if we now click on show enemy debug window as things start appearing in you will see the NMEA uh, data that's getting decoded from those uh, from those little blips on the on the on the um, uh, on that frequency 191.975 and consequently you will uh, populate if you're hearing anything uh, the the ships will appear on, on this map uh, you can right click on them get information on each one uh, there's quite a few there have a look so yeah quite interesting um, you can show uh, routes and, and all sorts of stuff on this uh, something that I found, if you right click and then do, uh, what is it, uh, move boat here, essentially, because I haven't got a GPS setting the position that I'm at, uh, you can manually do it by right clicking move boat to here. And then you can use stuff like AIS target list to give you all the boats that are in, well, 50 nautical miles. Uh, there's 18 heard so far. Uh, so yeah, quite uh, quite interesting. But of course, you will need to set up your virtual audio cables, um, and uh, hopefully, um, 
once you've wired everything together virtually it should all start working um if we stop this and run it up again you can see the boats start to populate as the signals uh come in so yeah it's quite uh it's quite interesting and it's surprising how far i've received them i've received some all the way up here getting towards gloucester and just south of swansea down there and i'm located here roughly so yeah quite uh quite interesting anyway uh hopefully that will help for those who wanted to uh set it up um as long as you've got your radio connected to your pc and you can set it up to output if uh you can use sdr sharp to process that if and remove uh, and, and not apply a de-emphasis which in turn does not remove uh some of the high frequency data that's required um and then it just seems to all work uh once you start getting uh, uh syncs and valid uh packets in ais mon uh you'll be good to go right uh, i'll just quickly bring up the uh web pages uh that are of interest uh let me hide the um let me hide the little radio there a second um so yeah uh, groups.io uh, slash g slash ais mon um, if you register you can then go um, into the file section and download 2.3.0 of ais mon or you can go to um, marine traffic and in there uh, you will find ais mon which is uh, down in this list here and you can download, uh, I think it's 2.2 uh, 2 from there. OpenCPN is OpenCPN.org. All the details there, how to download it, getting it all working, um, using free charts and all that sort of stuff. Um, SDR Sharp is airspy.com uh, slash download. So uh, that'll show you where to get uh get sdr sharp from uh, by there and then this is some information about the automatic uh, identification system ais and uh i think in here it gives details about the raf the rf characteristics of it a uh, gmsk uh, modulation uh, transmission rate 9600 bits per second yeah some quite interesting info in there anyway uh there we are that's on wikipedia um okay so uh there we are hopefully that will uh help some of you get it up and running and it's quite interesting and fun to see what's happening out on the on the waterways cheers then this is uh, mike whiskey zero lima golf echo